So this is our last lesson before our exam and two important things have come up today and I'm sorry about the board, I know it's messy, but there are a couple of really important things here. Well, this is the first important thing that I found. These two words, the word last and the word ago. So when we're talking about things we did in the past, we can say, well, um, I took my daughter swimming last weekend, or last month, or last year, or last Tuesday, or last night, or something like that. So this word last is really good about when we're talking in the past. The other good word is ago. Oh, I saw my friend 10 minutes ago. Oh, I saw my daughter two weeks ago. So these two words, last, last night, last weekend, last month, last year, last Tuesday, is a really good word, last, or time, 10 minutes ago, one day ago, three days ago, two weeks ago, not one month ago, five years ago. Great words to remember when you're talking in the past. Oh, blah, 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 blah. the other thing that was interesting today, sorry, was about, if, when we use the verb to be, we were just looking at it one more time, we know it now, I am, I was, you are, you were, he is, he was, she is, she was, it is, it was, we are, we, we were, they are, they were. But we, we got a bit confused today when we were talking about questions and positives. With the verb to be, when we ask, when we use a positive sentence, we use Pavel was born in 1976. Negative, Pavel was not born in 1976. But when we ask a question, we start with the question word, but we take the verb to be in the subject here and we turn it around for the verb to be. When was Pavel born? Pavel was born. When was Pavel born? Pavel was born. So you can see we do this turn for the verb to be and that's the difference between positive, negative and questions. It's this turn we need to try to remember. What I keep hearing is, oh, when Pavel was born? No. When was Pavel born? After a question word, we need a verb. And for the verb to be, it's the verb to be. Over here, though, this is interesting. This subject verb thing stays the same with all other verbs. So here we learn, we use the word learn. I learnt to play English. I didn't learn to play English. When did you learn to play English? So what we... When did you learn to play the guitar? Sorry. I learned to play the guitar. I didn't learn to play the guitar. When did you learn to play the guitar? You can see that the subject and the verb are always in the same place. But the difference is with all other verbs, this is the past we're talking about today, we just add the auxiliary verb and we split the subject and the verb up. So I learned, I didn't learn. Then we've already learned about this and how you formulate these things. And it's, it's this bit I want to do. I learned, I didn't learn. And it's putting the auxiliary verb in the middle. For questions, not the verb to be but all other verbs, and here we're looking at the past, we start with the question word then we have the auxiliary verb, and then we still have the subject and the verb together. So there's some thing here where maybe we can look at that and go, ah, okay, subject, verb, subject, verb, subject, verb, and not playing around with the order here, but you need to play about with it in the verb, with the verb to be. So there were just some ideas that came up. Exam next week, we're gonna talk about that now. Thank you.